Introducing iTrack Advance. Combining the world's only illuminated canaloplasty microcatheter with a handheld injector and custom cannula, the iTrack Advance offers an implant free, tissue preserving surgical solution for glaucoma. iTrack Advance is designed for real canaloplasty, delivering high volume, pressurized OVD over 360 degrees of the canal. iTrack Advance is also the only device that can titrate the volume of OVD delivered based on patient pathology. Aqueous humor or fluid is produced and drained by the eye at a balanced rate to maintain ocular health. The conventional outflow pathway, consisting of the trabecular meshwork, Schlem's canal and the collector channels, is responsible for most of the drainage. Glaucoma occurs when the drainage of aqueous humor becomes blocked, leading to increased intraocular pressure. With glaucoma, the trabecular meshwork becomes fibrosed, which can create significant resistance to the outflow of fluid up to 75%. Glaucoma can lead to a decrease in the outflow facility of Schlem's canal by up to 50%, which may become narrowed or collapsed. Additionally, up to 90% of collector channels can become blocked, causing further outflow resistance. Canaloplasty is a surgical procedure that can clear blockages and widen narrowed or collapsed segments of the outflow pathway, including Schlem's canal and the collector channels. During the procedure, tiny microperforations are created in the trabecular meshwork, leading to improved drainage of aqueous humor. Canaloplasty can also increase the canal's diameter up to three times and trigger the withdrawal of herniated tissue from the collector channels. Before treatment, prime the eye track advance with high molecular weight viscoelastic. Once fully primed, viscoelastic will ooze from the microcatheter tip. Sitting temporal, create an oblique 1.0 mm paracentesis 1 to 2 mm into clear cornea. The trabecular meshwork target is located approximately 2 to 3 clock hours away from the paracentesis incision. Using the cannula tip, incise the trabecular meshwork. Ensure the cannula is orientated parallel with the scleral wall. Use the blue actuator to slowly advance the microcatheter into Schlem's canal at a slight upward 15 degree approach. Slowly advance the microcatheter 360 degrees around Schlem's canal via a single intubation. If required, a small amount of viscoelastic can be delivered during intubation to overcome blockages in the canal. Once the microcatheter has navigated 360 degrees of Schlem's canal, make sure to repressurize the visco injector before slowly withdrawing the microcatheter using the blue actuator. Simultaneously, deliver viscoelastic via the visco injector while slowly withdrawing the microcatheter. Once the canal and distal outflow system have been viscodilated, the eye track advance is removed and all residual viscoelastic is removed. <laughs>